Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cash stuffing envelope video and it's going to be for my August 1st. The current leftover that I had from last pay period that I decided to leave in my checking account it was $211 with 58 cents. Okay and then for my check since this is my husband's check I won't be sharing with you guys the amount that he got, but like I've always mentioned in all the videos where it's his paycheck that you guys can always go back. I believe April or March was the last ones that I showed with his income. So you guys, and then that way you guys can kind of see the idea of how much he earned and then whatever money that we took out. Okay, so since this is the beginning of the month, we do pay all our bills with this first paycheck. So the first one is my T-Mobile. And for my T-Mobile, this time the bill came out to be $211 with 17 cents. Okay. For my gas. So this is, I believe this is my last bill for the gas from my house that I sold. I haven't received the bill yet so I have to call them and see if I do have any leftover for the rest of the the couple days because I believe they run through I think a month behind so last time it was around ten dollars and eleven cents so I'm just gonna budget right here ten dollars because we were only there for a couple of let's see I think we closed on July 2nd so it's only a couple days I believe okay the next one is wiggy wash And for Wiggy Wash, they take out $35 with 98 cents. Okay, the next one is my city bill. And this city bill, it came out to be, so this is gonna be my last city bill from my previous house. It came out to be $79 with three cents. Okay, and then we have a new one for under my utilities is gym. My husband got a gym membership and it came out to be $13 with 93 cents each month. Okay, the next one is Netflix. And Netflix, I was always budgeting $339. And for last pay period, for last pay period, for last month, they actually took out $12.99. So, I don't know why they took out $12.99, so I'm guessing they changed their pricing. I don't know. So I'm going to just do $12.99, and then I'll see. Um, for Disney Plus, is a $13.93. Okay, and then for State Farm, which is our car insurance, they take out $131 with 38 cents okay so let's add all these up so 211 dollars was 70 cents 17 cents i said that funny plus 10 dollars plus 35.98 plus 79.03 plus 13.93 plus 12.99 plus 13.93 plus 131.38 is a total of 500, um, is that about right? Let's see, 211.17 plus $10 plus 35.98 plus 79.03 plus 13.93 plus 12.99 plus 13.93 plus 131.38 is a total of, there we go, Ooh, it's still coming out. Before I actually, before I started the video, I added my totals and it came out to 507. So, I don't know. We'll just do, so I'm going to put it over here and budget it since we don't know yet the full amount since I'm still waiting for the gas. So it's going to be 501.41. Okay. Okay, so now on to my K 
cash envelopes. So for my cash envelopes, this pay period is fuel. And fuel is $55. Okay, the next one is husband's allowance. And husband's allowance is $20. And then my allowance. And it's $20 as well. Okay, and then for my parents. is 150 okay so let's add these up so 55 plus 20 plus 20 plus 150 is a total of 245 okay and I'm just adding little check marks because fuel and my allowance I'm gonna leave them in my checking account and then just transfer it over to my credit card once I pay it and then I just put a little check mark um, here knowing that I already transferred it okay so for my sinking funds my sinking funds is Christmas house family fun and car maintenance and as you can see, I'm not putting back to school just because last paycheck, which was the 31st, was the last one to fully fund my back to school fund. But I might be starting my back to school fund for 2021. That way I don't have to take out that much and then I'll be good. It'll be, I'll be fully funded before. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so for Christmas, I did $44. For my house, I did 138. For family fun, I did 40. And then for car maintenance is $80. Okay, so let's add these up. So 44 plus 138 plus 40 plus 80 is a total of 302. Okay. And then I always do $100 for savings. And so that. Okay. I was like, I'm missing something, but duh. I'm not putting in my husband's income. Okay. So I always do $100 into savings. Okay. So now onto the fun part, which is the cash stuffing part. Okay. Okay. So the first one is my husband's allowance and my husband's, excuse me, allowance is $20. So I will put that aside. And then for my parents, my parents is 150, 150. So I will put that aside. The next one is Christmas and Christmas is $44. So 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay. And for Christmas, I have a total of $1,323 plus 44 brings up my total to $1,367. So 8, 1 plus 44 equals $1,367, okay? All right. The next one is my house fund, and my house fund is 138 so 100 and 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, okay? And for my house fund, I have a total of $3,245, so $3,245 plus 138 is a total of 3000 
let me add this first it's a total of three thousand three hundred and eighty three dollars okay I am probably gonna exchange um, these because it looks like I need to get bigger bills now okay all right so let's go on to the next one Ooh. The next one is Family Fun, and Family Fun is $40, so $20, $40. And for Family Fun, I still have the $40 from last pay period, just because I, these checks are so close together that we haven't used them yet. Okay, and then the last one is Car Maintenance, and Car Maintenance is $80, so $50, $70, and $80. And for car maintenance, I have a total of $890. So $890 plus $80 is a total of $970. So eight, one plus 80 is a total of 970. Okay. So the total amount that I took out this pay period is $472. But this is it for this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye.